Hey guys, we're at the Omaka Aviation Heritage Centre here in Marlborough. This place has a lot of classic fighter jets and planes from World War I and World War II. We've got heaps of cool stuff to show you. Stick around. Hi there, we're Matt and Nat. After getting engaged in beautiful Bali, 2020 saw us racing back home. Cabinet met this morning to discuss our next actions in the fight against COVID-19. Together with our fluffy white dog Kira, we decided to share our own beautiful backyard with the rest of the world. We've hiked to epic dams, famous lighthouses and shipwrecks, explored dark caves and even slept in a wine barrel cabin. Today's adventure brings us to the wonderful Amaka Aviation Heritage Centre getting a close-up look at some amazing World War history. Okay, so the centre opened back in December 2006. Um, this was a dream of a group of local aviation enthusiasts and they began fundraising um, by holding the biannual Classic Fighters Air Show, an air show that still happens here every second year in Marlborough. So if you ever hear when that's on, definitely check it out, it's amazing. Uh, one of the main collaborators was Sir Peter Jackson uh, and with his film company Wingnut Films um, they helped to build this whole exhibition. In fact, Peter, Sir Peter Jackson's own planes are in here. Standing just behind me is a replica of the Red Baron, the famous Red Baron's plane. And this scene here is the scene where the Australian Army Corps captured the plane. And over this side, this here is the cross taken from the Red Baron's plane. Isn't that cool? So this exhibit is the last flight of the Red Baron. It states here that he was in pursuit over the Somme Valley of another aircraft when he was shot with a single bullet through his chest. He met, somehow managed to land his plane relatively undamaged in a beet field, but unfortunately that field was actually occupied by an Australian gunnery unit. Uh, he passed away as he landed, uh, and the Australian gunnery unit pulled him out of the plane, stripped the plane of all its parts, and even stole his distinctive fur boots. Uh, a lot of the parts of the plane can still be seen around the world, and I do believe that one of his boots was actually presented to um, the Australian War Museum um, a few years ago. It's amazing how lifelike this scene is and this actually looks like real dirt. I'm not going to touch it just in case I miss any of these exhibits up so hands off <laughs> but the amount of work and detail that's gone into these models is incredible. Say what you like about the Germans but they were snappy dresses. Oh, whoa. Oh, this is amazing. Just the level of detail that's gone into these exhibits. Whoa. But in those days, we were always. This place is amazing. You've got to check it out. Hey guys, working hard or hardly working? We just finished doing the Knights of the Sky exhibit and now we're about to head into the Dangerous Skies exhibit and once you get out of the first one it's very bright outside and I'm finding it really hard to see where, even where the camera is. Are you, are you there? Are you, can you see it? I don't know, I just look like, um, what's that character, Mr. Magoo? So there's a little slot machine that you have to go through and put our tokens in. So we're just in the Dangerous Skies exhibition. This one's more focused on the World War II side of things, whereas the first one, the Knights of the Sky, is more World War I.
All right, guys, it looks like we're about to head into this really cool exhibit right now. And I'm just staring up at it. This looks wicked. I just can't get over the level of detail that has gone into these exhibitions and these exhibits. These models are amazing. These replicas are fantastic, outstanding job. Right here in Marlborough. If you haven't been here to see this, make sure you come down and have a look at this place. It's amazing. Let's see the, the displays. The level of detail is amazing, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. And everything's just, it's blown my mind. And at the moment we're waiting for like a, a, a short film or something. Yeah, the Stalingrad experience. So we're just waiting for the countdown over there. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to film in there, but we'll let you know if it's cool. I imagine it will be. So we just finished this Stalingrad experience um, audio-visual uh, short film, which is uh, a, little, a little bit sobering to see. Um, but you'll find out when you come here. So this has been an amazing experience. If you're ever in Marlborough, make sure you definitely come here and check these exhibits out. Support the local community, support local jobs, support local travel, tourism. That's what we're all about here. Yeah. And right. it's just amazing. Uh, even if, like I said earlier, if you're not into war, just come and see the displays. They're just phenomenal. Absolutely. Now, if you thought this video was tight, leave us a like. This ain't no bribe. Please subscribe. And hey, what the hell? Ding that bell. Catch you in the next one, guys. Bye.